Hello everybody, my name is Jim and welcome and thank you for choosing to take a course on e-marketing here on educator.com. Let's dive right in and take care of business and of course this is sort of like a business class but if you're a developer this will help you as well understand what to offer your clients. But the whole intention of this, these lessons here is basically to give you a frame of reference on the different methods of driving traffic to your website. So that's the whole purpose of e-marketing is to basically drive traffic okay, to your website. And what I mean by, by traffic, I pretty much mean the number of visitors you get. Okay, So the more visitors you get, of course, increase in visitors, equal increase in possible, well, whatever it is that you want, revenues, attention, uh, impact, okay, I can go on and on, okay, so the relevancy of a website, regardless, is determined by how many people come in and out, and how many people coming in and out is dependent upon your marketing, and in this case, e-marketing. So in these lessons, we're going to talk about SEO, which stands for Search Engine Optimization. Okay, Google, Yahoo, okay, we're going to go into that. Google, Yahoo, okay, a little bit about Bing. Okay, of course, we're going to focus mostly on Google because Google holds 80% of the market. Then we're going to talk about social media. Who can avoid Facebook and Twitter? Okay, well, guess what? They're not the only game in town. There's also some a new thing called Pinterest. Finally, we're going to talk about e-newsletter, okay? Sending messages directly to your list, how to build that list, okay? We're going to talk about building that list of emails, okay? And sending it through, well, let's use a different pen, one, uh, email, and of course, text messaging. How exciting is that? And then, of course, blogging. With blogging, we're just basically writing articles. But with that, we'll talk to you about how to syndicate that, those articles. Okay, how to spread it all over the world. And then we'll discuss, finally, the impact of it all. What does this all mean? What does it mean to your business? What does it mean to your specific type of organization? Okay, then the audience that you want to build. Let's dive right in. Okay, SEO, search engine optimization. It's the process of getting traffic from the search engines and into your website. Now, if you ever to go to Google right now, you type in the different keywords, uh, what, what happens? Where does it go? What's it all about? Obviously, you want to be aware of the coding involved in your website. Now, this is not a coding class, but you know, if you do uh, decide to code eventually, what you want to do is be aware of your title tag. Okay, so ask your webmaster, and if you're a webmaster, you should know this. Your title tag pretty much goes on the top of a website. Now, let's go ahead into the educator.com website. Let's type in educator, excuse me, dot com. All right, now notice on the title tag, okay, it basically says educator.com, if we can see the title tag. All right, so this is, uh, let me go to, um, well, anyways, the title tag, here it is, the title tag, okay, you can't really see it very well. Mozilla does this to me all the time. Let's go ahead and uh, increase the speed. Okay, you can't really see it. But on the very top, you see educator.com, number one trusted e-learning service, start today. Okay, so that is your title. All right, and if I went ahead and I uh, did a view page source on this, okay, you'll notice, okay, and I'm going to be able to increase this, that the title tag is right, well, I just saw it, it's right here. Number one trusted e-learning service site start today. That is the title tag. All right, and that's basically what we want to focus on when it comes to uh, your website. Th those are the important things. We're going to talk about uh, SEO and the importance of tagging, uh, optimizing it, 
Okay, and that's the whole idea uh, when it comes to SEO. All right, now there's two types of SEO strategies that we're going to be discussing. Okay, again, there is called free and organic. Okay, free is pretty much what you see on this side. Okay, uh, free is the same as organic. Organic is same as free. So for those of you who are not coders or not web people, let's just call it free. I'm going to call it free, even though I'm a developer. Uh, most developers refer to it as organic. Organic is anything that appears on the main body of a search engine right here. Okay, actually, it doesn't include uh, the top portion where it's yellow. So forgive me for a little bit. It only includes this section right here. Okay, again, I'm going to go ahead and erase all this. There it is right there. So all this section right here. In other words, this section right here. I'll use a red pen now. This section right here. And that is more competitive. It's cheap, obviously, because it's free. But it does involve heavy coding. Uh, and, of course, the higher up is dependent upon the number of people that come into your website. Now, with coding, you want to be aware of, of course, like as I mentioned, the title tag, uh, alt tags, okay, for your pictures. You want to be aware of how you emphasize uh, your words. You want to be aware of basically the percentage of keywords in your website. When it comes to paid, this is paid. This section is paid, and this section here is paid. Notice that it's colored. And this is called Google AdWords. With AdWords, it involves a thing called bidding. So the higher you pay on certain keyword combinations, the better off you are. Okay. So in case in the case in point with chocolates, I'm sure that it's a very competitive subject. So be on the top to being on the top of chocolates. Well, you pretty much have to have a pretty large but, uh, budget. So you've got to pay a good amount of money. In this case, uh, for instance, uh, in, uh, you know, number one, berries.com, uh, cadbury.com. Those are pretty big companies. They will appear on top if they paid enough money. So AdWords is, is one of the methodologies in uh, creating a very good sound SEO system for yourself. Um, I would definitely try the free uh, or organic method first, see how you go, see how your coding works. Uh, but, uh, and if you can't work, then you may want to, well, pay a little, invest a little. I know people who pay thousands, literally thousands of dollars a month for their SEO, for their Google AdWords. Now, if you don't have that budget, do the best you can. But again, remember <clears throat> the number of people coming into your website. Okay, if you want to do the freebie, the organic, it depends on the number of people coming to your website. So these lessons that I'm going to teach you, it's going to help you understand what it takes to drive traffic. And the more traffic that comes to your website, the higher up on the search engines you'll appear, and then maybe you don't have to pay uh, for Google AdWords, or maybe not pay as much on Google AdWords. All right, so what is social media? In addition to SEO, you want to play a social media. Social media includes web-based and mobile-based technologies, which are used to turn communication, interactive dialogue among organization, individual, communities, and individuals. Wow, I said a lot there, didn't I? Bottom line is community. That's what social media is. It's all about communities. It's all about getting people to like you, okay, follow you, or watch you, okay? And these are terms that are pretty much used in Facebook, of course, follow is uh, Twitter, uh, connect with you. It's another word, okay? That's used in LinkedIn. Or get in your circle, which is used in Google+, okay? And of course, follow, as we'll learn at Pinterest. In these lessons, we're going to go over each and every one of these social media websites. Very powerful. Hundreds, literally almost a billion people are on some form of social media website or a combination thereof. So you can imagine, okay, I think uh, Facebook has something like 850 million by now. Okay, Twitter is probably close second at uh, 200 million. Pinterest has 12 million, but it's only been around for a year and a half. That's pretty darn good. 
It's the fastest growing social media in the world. So in these lessons, we're going to talk in, about the different social media websites. We're going to visit them and show you how to create a profile and how to best utilize it for business or for personal reasons. Okay. The next thing we're going to talk about, of course, are e-newsletters. Okay. The definition of an e-newsletter is a correspondence sent by email. It's basically a single web page sent by email. It's the most successful means of communications on the web. Absolutely. Now, what this didn't, what this description didn't include, that there's two types of e-newsletter. One, obviously, is by email. The second is by text messaging or mobile messaging. Okay. <clears throat> We're going to go over in these lessons how to do both. How to set up an email, how to set up an email newsletter, and how to set up a text message. You'll be really enlightened and really amazed at how powerful these two mechanisms or these two vehicles of uh, e-marketing really works for you. It's simple. You can do it or you can ask a developer to do it for you. But e-newsletter is the most effective way of getting people because, one, it forces you to build a list. And that is really the key to a successful e-marketing campaign. You want to build a list. You want to build a community. You want to build a following for your services. Okay? Actors, musicians, all those celebrities, they've got millions of people following them. Sports teams, another uh, uh, organization that really gets a lot of following. Uh, famous painters, famous museums, okay, all these. If you look at the numbers, they really climb up there. The, some of us small mom and pop shops, there are other things that you can do to generate an interest. Like, for instance, if you're a web designer like myself, you may want to uh, create articles which will talk about blogging, and then people start following you because they'll rely on you to educate them. So we're going to go over this, e-newsletters by email and text messaging. We're going to also talk about blogging. A blog is a discussion or information site when the user determines, where the user, you, determine the content. Now, of course, the two best one is WordPress and Blogger, with a big B, belonging to Google. And we're going to talk about both these softwares and the power of blogging. We're also going to talk about syndication. Okay, in other words, when you create an article, where does it go? Who sees them? Okay, and we're going to talk about sharing. Okay, how to basically uh, uh, share your information and add it to the social media websites, add it to the search engines, even add it to your newsletters. So we're going to go over that in these lessons. Finally, what is the impact? Well, in time, the impact is this. You have a large number of visitors in a certain amount of time. Now, it does take some time. If you want to get on top of the search engine using an organic method for, for SEO, it'll take a little bit longer as opposed to paid. But with the other things we're going to talk about, social media, we'll get there. So this is Jim for Educator.com. Welcome to these lessons. Go ahead and click on the next button. Stay tuned.